You've seen what lives down there, but how do we actually get to it? Welcome aboard the CCGS Amundsen, Canada's premier Arctic research vessel, and our floating base for exploring the deep, mysterious sea. We're just off the coast of Nunatsiavut, about 30 kilometers from the community of Makovic. Beneath us lies a stretch of water few have seen up close. And today, we're heading down. We are dropping an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle, to explore a coral garden clinging on to a 200 meter cliff below these frigid waters. Come on. We're live on the seafloor right now. Come take a look. The ROV is like a deep sea drill. It's packed with high definition cameras, lasers, robotic arms, and it sends a live feed back to us on board. Down here, every ridge and outcrop tells a story. We see sponges filtering water, shrimp darting through the shadows, brittle stars clinging to the rocks. It might look barren at first, but it's alive with creatures adapted to the deep. And then, this, a coral garden, deeper than sunlight can reach, spread across a towering undersea cliff. Here, corals act like scaffolding, building the structure that organisms like fish and shrimp all depend on. Without them, the seafloor would be a much emptier place. But this isn't just a scientific discovery. Fishers and community members were the first to pull coral from these waters, long before cameras ever reached this depth. We're adding to their knowledge, not starting from scratch. This kind of research is not done solo. It takes a whole team. Coast Guard crew, technicians, scientists, even the fishers who helped guide us to these spots. It takes a village. Everyone plays a role. It's one thing to study deep sea life in a book. It's another to see it unfold right in front of you, in the middle of the North Atlantic, surrounded by ice, high winds, and salt spray. It's pretty sweet. Life on board is simple but focused. You wake up, gear up, and go explore the unknown. And every night you fall asleep knowing that you are a part of something bigger. Science doesn't always happen in the lab. Sometimes it happens out here, where the sea is deep, the people are tough, and the discoveries feel... endless. <laughs> <laughs>